Just imagine if, if all of your favorite movies had no soundtrack. <laughs> uh, where is the vibe? So yeah, your, your music plays a big role. Hi, I'm John from PGP Wedding Films, and welcome to Say Yes to the Best, where we talk to the best wedding pros to give you wedding planning advice. Subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. We have new content out all the time to help you with your wedding planning. And also check out our friends at Pennsylvania Weddings. They're partnering with us. They have tons of great resources, whether you're planning a wedding in Philadelphia or Pittsburgh. Anywhere in the state of Pennsylvania is a great resource to get inspired and find all the great vendors who can help you make your wedding day a reality. Today, I'm talking with the Honey Badgers, Michael and Aaron. How are you? Hello, we're great. How are you? (laughs) I'm doing well, doing well. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah, thanks for having us. So tell us a little bit about, you know, you guys, how you got started in your band as well as in your business. Yeah, great. Um, we have been playing music together for nine years now. Is I that, think so. Is correct? N- nine plus. <laughs> yeah, nine plus. Uh, we started towards the end of our college experience dating and performing together. Um, we've been a band since then. We quit in quit our corporate jobs in 2019, and we've been playing as musicians full time since then. We did a lot of touring last year in 2019, and then this year COVID hit and sort of messed up all of our plans for the <laughs> year. But it was a blessing in disguise. We were able to sort of pivot and book start booking smaller private events, which is all that's allowed right now. And <laughs> we've really been enjoying it. So, do you have anything mm-hmm. else to add? Yeah. So just like Michael said, we started out as original. Uh, creators, I would say, creators of original content. Um, And we just started pivoting, again, like Michael said, to doing more uh, cover events. And it's been a great learning experience. Um, And we're very lucky to have been able to start booking more weddings. And it's turning into something that we really enjoy doing. Go Blue Hands. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh my gosh. We are double Dells. We are a little ashamed to say. <laughs> Don't it's be. You know, you know, me and my wife, we are too. It's, it's <laughs> the, the best, yep. the best pairings. Always dub, double yes. Dells. Uh, as far as kind of going f- into your business, what are some of the ways you guys have grown musically as far as what you offer to couples? You know, what have been some of the changes that, that have happened in the last couple of years for you? So the first thing my mind went to um, is less of a business thing and more of a uh, creating thing. (laughs) So I think as we were younger musicians creating original music, uh, a lot of it just came from what we wanted to do. And it's been an interesting experience to switch over to, uh, purposefully making things that other people will enjoy, uh, and be that, you know, our music or, um, performing for a live event, we're always sort of making sure that another person's enjoyment is like top of our minds. Um, And I think it's been a really cool experience as a musician to put that first instead of just sort of like pouring out your feelings and hoping that other people relate, um, which is also very fun and good in its own right. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I guess, let's see, in terms of more solid business uh, things. (laughs) (laughs) things. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. In terms of business, we've like put ourselves out there on various wedding websites and gig sites, and we've gotten corporate events and private events booked through there. Um, we've learned a lot going full-time into music and we've trying, been trying to diversify as much as possible. And we still play lots of original music at original venues. And we've really enjoyed learning a bunch of covers for all the weddings that we've been playing lately. Awesome. And if you guys are interested in any of their original music, Go check out uh, the links below. That's a good place to find them on Apple Music, Spotify, anywhere you can find music. uh, That'll be a good guide for you. Now that you guys have been working in these sorts of events, what sort of uh, vibes, what sort of feels do you think uh, having a a duo like you can provide to a couple and their guests on a wedding day? So I think what makes our duo special is that we provide a very cozy homey vibe um if a couple is interested in live music but they are a little bit more fun carefree um not necessarily wanting to go with like the string quartet vibe um i think we're a fun alternative um 
we, I feel like our harmonizing and sort of acoustic uh, sound is very cozy <laughs> and um, yeah, very, very full of love. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I think we've gotten a great response from all the couples we've worked with this year and um, we're somewhere like in between a full band, like high energy vibe and just a, a uh, DJ YouTube iPod <laughs> plugged into the wall somewhere. So we're, we're pretty flexible. We work with all the couples and um, create unique experiences and get, try to give them exactly what they want. We learn instrumental covers. We learn anything they want, really. And we play a bunch of our original music when they want it. So if you want it, we will try it. Yeah, we're pretty <laughs> flexible. And like Aaron said, we're an intimate fit. We, we, I've been enjoying the micro weddings a lot. Mm -hmm. it's, it's cool to just have like immediate family and the couple and... It might not be exactly what they expected when they started planning their wedding last year or at the start of this year, but it's been really fun. Yeah. Right. And I think <laughs> even when eventually, hopefully the world will go back to normal and we'll be able to have large weddings again, I think even then we're, we're a, a good fit for a couple who, who wants something a little bit more intimate, even if their wedding is like size wise bigger, but they want things to feel more intimate and homey. Um, yeah. I think we're a good fit for that. Yeah. <laughs> Totally. And I know for what I do, uh, one of the big questions that couples ask me is like, oh, well, how do you figure out the music? And I always say, I just keep my ears open. So if I hear your type of music, I know that when I'm going through the sites that I have music, like I, it gives me an, a sense of what their tastes are, what their vibe is. And mm -hmm. kind of replicating that vibe is, is, is what I do. And, and for couples, you know, creating that vibe for your guests is is huge. Yeah, it plays a big bigger factor than you would ever imagine. I mean, just imagine if if all of your favorite movies had no soundtrack. <laughs> uh, where is the vibe? So yeah, your your music plays a big role, and I think that's a great idea to sort of base your um, videographer music choices on what you hear in, at the actual wedding. It's, it's a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> So when couples reach out to you guys, what sort of questions are they typically asking? It always varies by the couple. Um, some of them reach out to us because they know us locally and they ask if we do weddings at all. Right. And some of them reach out to us on the internet and they found us on a wedding website. So they know that we offer those services. Um, we don't really super advertise it locally at gigs because we're normally playing original music, but I love playing private events. Um, a lot of the couples, they... They just want to work with us and create the intimate, like, homey vibe that Aaron was talking about earlier. And they they don't want a ton of dancing or dancing isn't really allowed, depending on the venue right now. Um, yeah. So. Or sometimes uh, a, a question we'll get is just, uh, can you play this song? You know, I've always envis envisioned, like, walking down the aisle to this song or, right. um, you know, doing my first dance to this song. And maybe they've come across a video of us covering it and they really like it and they're they're wondering if we could replicate that for their wedding. <laughs> yeah. And Aaron creates custom string arrangements for <laughs> the instrumentals that we play before ceremonies. So that's a lot of um, custom work that a lot of wedding bands wouldn't really do that Aaron offers because she enjoys getting it right. <laughs> yeah. It gives me a chance to go back to my music nerd roots, <laughs> which is fun. Yeah. What parts of the day do you guys typically work the most? Is it a lot of ceremonies and cocktail hours? Do you do any receptions? We've done a couple receptions. Um, we're not always the right fit, depending on what the couple wants. Um, we tend to just be doing ceremonies and cocktail hours. That's what mm -hmm. we prefer. And we, we really enjoy doing them. The ceremonies, I, I love doing because they're always really special. Yes, it's, yeah. it's so <laughs> satisfying to have everything work out just perfectly for a ceremony. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, rolling, a lot of pieces <laughs> to come into place, but um, it's really nice when everything works out nicely and you always get that special moment of having a, a bride walk down the aisle and like to help create the special feeling is really, really nice. Um, but that being said, we have done a few receptions, like Michael said, and it feels like the receptions that we are well suited for are more sit down dinner receptions where there isn't the expectation of like a huge rage after dinner. <laughs> um, I mean, we love those, but we're a little bit quiet for those. <laughs> <laughs> so when you guys are doing a ceremony, for example, what are some of the ways you can kind of help make things intimate and custom versus, you know, a DJ who's there with a speaker or the venue has a PA system and they're going to 
plug something in and play a certain song? What, what's the, the big advantages of working with a company like yours? Like I mentioned earlier, Aaron does all the custom string arrangements for instrumental parts. Um, so we're able to work with a couple and give them exactly what they want, time out everything, and and play exactly the way they envision things. Um, do you have anything else for that? Yeah. So uh, we generally ask a couple exactly what songs they want us to play for like the pre-ceremony uh, moment. Um, we'll generally play like 20 to 30 minutes before... Um, the ceremony gets started. And I think what sets us apart from maybe a DJ is you get that custom set list of all your favorite songs, but they, there is a cohesive theme to them because we're putting our own spin on all of them. Uh, So you're able to sort of, your guests at least are able to sort of fall into that, um, that vibe, that feeling, uh, without it being interrupted by any like huge changes in the musical feeling. Um, so it, it sets you up well to walk down the aisle and have it be really nice and special. <laughs> and I would imagine you guys are able to like time that better. Cause I've definitely been at weddings where like maybe the bride's dress was difficult to, to fluff out and you would hate to have like the big mo- musical moment and like there's no <laughs> bride. And then she walks out to like the, the wrong part of the song. And I'm guessing you guys, since you're there and you're, you're live, you can kind of make sure that, the right notes are being hit at the right time. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now it's not all, it's not simple, but <laughs> we do make sure to time it exactly right. We always come prepared with lots of extra songs in case there's a hold up. No worries. It happens. <laughs> Trust me. I can appreciate it. I, I know just from editing, like m- moving something a couple seconds is not, it, it, me- it can mess up the whole flow. So I, I'm sure that uh, it, yes. it's, it's a lot of attention to detail and, and just knowing the right way to, to maneuver. Yep. Yeah. A lot of preparation ahead of time. Like Aaron said, we have songs ready as backup and we always send out a full like questionnaire to all of the couples and make sure we're doing exactly what they want. Yeah. We, we try to get as much information as possible, which may seem annoying to a couple prior to their wedding when like they're being bombarded by questions from every angle. But the more we know, the better we're able to plan and make everything run very smoothly on the day of. <laughs> Are there any situations that have been really special and kind of out of the norm that you guys have had the opportunity to play at a wedding? We played on a rooftop at our friend's pre-wedding. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think in general, we're just like extremely flexible. Like when we're talking to the couple beforehand, we always make sure that they know that we can pretty much do anything they want. We have multiple PA systems. We, we set up for ceremony. We set up for cocktail hour. We, we plan ahead. Um, I think we're always trying to give them as much bang for the buck as possible. You'd be amazed how many people never think about um, ceremony audio. Like That's the officiant true. never asks for a microphone, but without a microphone that we provide the the entire audience can't hear anything that's happening and you can't record it as a videographer. So there's a, there's a lot of services that we should probably advertise more that we offer that just help out the day to go more smoothly. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, not to go off track, but I was (laughs) thinking of sort of a special moment that I remember from this year. Um, I think it was the first wedding. It might've been the first like gig at all that we did after everything sort of blew up in March. Mm -hmm. Um, we were working with this, oh my gosh, they were the sweetest couple and they had, they already had planned a small wedding, but they had made it even smaller and even safer. And we were able to play their first dance and their parent dances, uh, back to back. And it was just, they had their whole like small reception, um, guests all like surrounding them. And, it was it was really special um, to be like singing straight to them as they were dancing and all their guests were singing along. Oh, my gosh. It was really nice. <laughs> yeah. That was over at Terrain, which was a beautiful venue. Yeah. In Glen Mills. Yeah. It was really beautiful. It's funny. You, you mentioned how, you know, you guys are providing things that people aren't thinking of. One thing that I've had to do with kind of this, the switch to micro weddings is if there's a reception, there's no DJ, there's no band, there's nothing at the, the venue. I, you know, people are giving us speeches and the plan is, oh, they'll just talk. So I've been giving them like a microphone with a little recorder plugged in for, for us. And the negative is then people see a microphone, like, why can't we hear anything? It's like, it's it's not for you, for the video. Yeah. So, I mean, (laughs) I think having people hear what's going on is, is huge. I even remember 
years ago I was doing a wedding and it was like outside and it was windy and it, it was pre COVID, but there was a decent separation from where the bride and groom were and, and the guests and the mother of the groom came up to me afterwards. She's like, did you get that audio? I was like, I heard it crystal clear, but you know, having your guests hear it, you're, you're asking all these people to be at your wedding. You want them to, to hear what's going on and feel engaged. And it's not something that people always think of, but it's really important. Mm-hmm. Yep, definitely. Yeah, we agree. <laughs> <laughs> What would be your biggest piece of advice to a couple who thinks that, you know, live music, especially uh, the kind of folk style that you have, uh, could be a fit? What would you kind of recommend them as far as like where to start, how to figure out what songs you like, um, what kind of what they should do? Well, I think in terms of finding musicians, uh, there are many websites devoted to sort of listing out uh, musicians who who play weddings, but another angle to take is just look at your local bands that you enjoy. Um, if you really are going for just a unique live music feel, um, I think looking at bands that you already like hearing, um, is a good first step. Ask them if they play weddings. Maybe they do. And the worst answer you can get is nope, we don't. (laughs) And then you move on. Um, and or the other idea is to um, look on li- on YouTube for videos of covers that you enjoy. Um, now, that's a little tougher because you might find someone that you fall in love with and they are on the other side of the country. <laughs> so maybe that's not the best bet. Um, but once you find that musician that you love, they should definitely help you work out uh, a set list or pick your songs. Um, most bands will have a song list and that's where we often start is we'll shoot um shoot over the song list and even if a couple wants songs that are not on there it gives them a good idea of the kind of music we play (laughs) um and it might jog their memories uh to think of songs that they absolutely love that they would love to have at their wedding um and then they can pass that on to us and we can learn them (laughs) anything to add um not really. Okay. I mean, that, that song list is a great starting point for most couples. They see the songs that we play and they know our style based on that. Um, we also always offer that we can learn two or three newer cover songs for them if they want to. We learned Hey Ya for the wedding we played last week. That was so fun. We did like an acoustic <laughs> version of Hey Ya by yeah. Outcast. It was great. <laughs> great. Well, Michael, Aaron, thank you so much for being on the show today. Yeah, thanks for having us. The Honey Badgers, you can check out all of their original music below. We have links to their wedding work. So if you're looking for uh, live music for your wedding, they are awesome. Uh, I can tell you as a videographer who was freaking out setting up a a live stream for a wedding, having their music was very, very enjoyable. It made the experience for me while they were playing pre-ceremony just way better. So uh, you, you're going to really love them if you, if you work with them. So definitely check them out below. Once again, subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram. We have new content out all the time. Plus check out our friends at Pennsylvania Weddings and all the great wedding resources they have. Thank you and happy planning. <laughs>